Hello learners, welcome back to our today's class. And we are still on with Commonwealth and we have looked at a number of things concerning Commonwealth. We have looked at the membership of Commonwealth, how it was uh, the origin and development, how was it organized, that is the structure and the functions of each and every structure of Commonwealth. Now today we'll get to what are some of the functions that Commonwealth is involved in and also what are some of the challenges Commonwealth has faced so far. The channel you're watching is Elimu TV and your teacher is Roger Michira. Welcome all and let us learn. So class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We expect that we are able to state the functions of Commonwealth and also state or rather discuss some of the challenges that have, affect, or have, have uh, affected Commonwealth, the running of Commonwealth programs. Now let us get to functions of the Commonwealth, what are some of the functions? What are some of the functions that Commonwealth involves itself in? For example, one, it promotes partnership and cooperation, right? That is one, one of the functions of Commonwealth. It promotes partnership and cooperation among its, uh, its members. For example, when you have got the Commonwealth members, sorry, when we have got the Commonwealth uh, Games, that is to, to, to promote cultural ties, you get to, to see that the Commonwealth uh, encourages that there must be partnership and cooperation in those Commonwealth uh, Games. That is where you see all the member states of Commonwealth get to take part in the Commonwealth Games. And also the Commonwealth, it provides financial assistance to the developing countries. Developing countries, they're also called the third world countries. For example, Kenya is a, is a third world country, Uganda is a third world country, good. Now the Commonwealth, it gives financial assistance to these, to these member states that are developing. And I've, a good example, I've told you uh, Kenya is a, is, is a developing country. So we always get financial assistance uh, through, uh, from Commonwealth. For example, when been, we, we have been in the mid of the uh, coronavirus pandemic, right? And you see, the Commonwealth has really taken a leading role in, in, a, in, in a supporting Kenya financially to deal with the coronavirus. So we can get to see that Commonwealth has really taken a leading role in promoting the development of these third world countries or the developing countries. And also it supports training, education, for example, the issue of scholarships. I did tell you earlier that uh, Commonwealth has taken a leading ro uh, role in issuing out the scholarships from well, uh, Commonwealth. So uh, the, the bright students or the disadvantaged students are, are, are given scholarships that to make sure that they also continue with their education. So it has taken a reading, law in, a reading role in education and training for instance, the scholarships. And also, it has, uh, it has, um, it has encouraged the trade, um, trade among member states. It has enhanced economic ties. So Kenya is free to trade with Britain. Kenya is free to trade with uh, Uganda. Kenya is free to, uh, free to trade with Egypt. Kenya is free to trade with Nigeria. You see that? Now it has encouraged trade among the member states. This has also promoted or rather enhanced the economic ties. And also class, it has enhanced social and cultural cooperation among its member states. For instance, the Commonwealth Games, the cultural cooperation, and I've told you, the cultural game, the, the, the Commonwealth Games are held after every two years. And all these member states get to take charge, get to participate in the Commonwealth uh, nations, or so, sorry, the Commonwealth Games. Now through that, it has promoted cultural ties and also cultural cooperation. And also, class, we must note that it promotes democracy and good governance. Whenever we have got an uh, election, right, the Commonwealth sends observers, right? In every, in all the Commonwealth states, when you have got an election, the Commonwealth sends obs uh, observers to oversee the electioneering process, right? Was it fair? Was it democratic? Good. And, uh, and whenever we've whenever we got um, issues of democracy, the Commonwealth tries to advise, right? Whenever we've got um, problems arising as a result of election, the Commonwealth always mediates, right? Now you get to see that it has promoted good governance and democracy. Now, uh, now that we have looked at some of the functions of the Commonwealth, can we get to challenges? What are some of the challenges facing Commonwealth? One, there's dominance by some, by some nations, in particular Britain, right? So, you know, Britain, Britain is like uh, a superpower among the Commonwealth uh, states, right? So you, in everything, you get to see that common, uh, Britain has dominated in everything. So these other member states feel like they are 
inferior right so the dominance by some so, some nations has also hindered the functioning or the performance of the commonwealth and also this political dominance right political dominance is also another 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 challenge talk of inadequate funds remember also commonwealth sorry depends from funds from these other member states so each and every member state gets to contribute right what if uh, as, as some of the, the the member states does not contribute well, what do you think will happen right we'll be having a financial crisis so there's inadequate funds for the commonwealth running its programs and also in 1961 commonwealth uh, suffered a major blow when south africa fall out or rather fell out from the from, from from the organization right so members for instance south africa with the 1961 you see now when when members are withdrawing you see it weakens the operations it weakens the performance of commonwealth then also we have got divided lo loyalty what do we mean when we talk of uh, divided loyalty these other member states belong to other organizations for example we have got ECOWAS, right we have got uh, egad good we have got comesa we have got nam which is an aligned movement right so there is divided loyalty that is why there is uh, we can't get effective performance of the commonwealth then finally there is color and race discrimination and mostly the, the color and race discrimination is between the, the whites and the black right the whites and the black always and and you saw recently in the us they were they were demonstrating that uh, black lives matter you see so we have been having the issue of uh, color and race discrimination as one of the challenge facing the commonwealth now class we've already looked at the challenges facing the commonwealth and also the functions of commonwealth now for our assignment can you get to look at which year did usa sorry which year did south africa pull out of the commonwealth nations right when did it pull out out of the league and for your reference get to look at evolving world history and government form four the Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, the station you're watching is LMU TV. Always stay tuned for more lessons. Thank you and see you in the next class.